Good afternoon, everyone. This is Idaho Humpy. Sorry for the delay in getting you another video. I was sick and lost my voice, and I still have a cough. But here we are. As you can see, we are doing some transmission work. I noticed the other day that my transmission fluid was very low. I did not have an active leak. So I started looking into how this thing works. Turns out there is a transmission cooler loop that actually runs to the transfer case. Runs to it via, oh, I don't know if you can see it, that hose right there. And then on the other side of it, there's another one on the return line on, near the shift linkage. And what happens is, is that cooling loop, it's supposed to be passive inside the transfer case, the internal components will sometimes break open. And all it ends up doing is pumping transmission fluid into your transfer case, which can cause the seals to leak, and you can grenade your transmission, which is oh so fun. And then eventually you grenade your transfer case too. I'm hoping I caught it in time, and I already drained the transfer case. It was over full, but not like, oh my God, squirting out everywhere kind of full but it was definitely over its limit. I'm now draining the transmission fluid. The plan is I'm going to basically loop those hoses back on itself with some 3 8 transmission line. As a result, it'll basically be no longer passively cooled, but as long as you're not doing over 55 all the time, doing some crazy stuff in the desert and the heat and all that, and you're actually paying attention to your rig, you shouldn't actually encounter any issues. It, I'll be the guinea pig for that, so let's find out. But in the meantime, that's how we're going to tackle this. Just want to give you a quick update. Uh, until next time, Idaho Humvee.